I got a new tool! Man, I've been spending a bunch of money on tools lately and I just, as a disclaimer, this is not a shill video. Nobody sent me these tools. I actually bought these tools with my own money. Um, anyway, on the other channel, The Roadhouse, I do some tool reviews where I talk about tools that I've had and how that's working out. But on this channel, I like to do unboxings of new tools uh, because the and how that's working out, it doesn't apply here. So this is the Astro Pneumatics Universal Radiator Pressure Tester and Vacuum System Kit. Now, why did I go with this one over any other choice? I searched all over the webs and I wanted to find something that was, you know, all uh, most encompassing um, that I could use uh, on the the day to day uh, for most most cooling systems. Well, let's get into that and let's have a look. Rawr! How do I get this thing in the shot? This is a huge box. So, um, first and foremost, I originally saw this on a review on another YouTuber's channel and I, for the life of me, can't recall at the moment what the YouTuber's name was, but I will leave a link to his video in the description um, for you guys to check out for yourself. But what was interesting about his video was he found this kit online, but he also found another one that looked exactly the same. Right, and uh, it, but it came in a red blow mold case. And when he pulled it all apart, he pulled uh, both kits out and compared the two. And he noticed that the red kit uh, was really, really bad quality. Uh, it was essentially a knockoff of this kit. Um, again, I'll leave a link. You can check out his video. Um, he does a really good unboxing as well, but I, I, I suppose I'm going to do an unboxing of this and explain why I got to the conclusion that I wanted this kit and I'm going to have this uh, hopefully for a very long time. I think this will be along the lines of reviewing in about a year or so to see how it's actually been working out. You'll see that on the other channel on uh, Clyde's Tool Choices. Um, but first and foremost, let's get this out of this box and get to the blow mold case. Man, this thing is enormous. Uh, and it's uh, still taped up on that end. I think I broke the tape on this side. There we go. Pull this guy. Man, that's huge. Uh, uh. Wow, that is a big, big, big blow mold case. So yes, this is the Astro Pneumatics uh, 78585. That is the part number for this kit. So let's have a look at what is inside. Again, nice blow mold case with this one with the nice hinge on it instead of just a split seam because you know they'll break. Why would you put your blow mold cases together like that? So what is included in this kit and why did I go with this? Another thing that that other guy that made a video about this uh, mentioned right away was uh, the quality of these, these adapters. These adapters appear to be a type of glass reinforced plastic. Whereas in the other kit, the knockoff, the cheapy, um, they appear to be just like <laughs> ABS plastic. <laughs> junk, junk. That's, you know, that's why, you know, we go with uh, the well-known name brands in a lot of cases because it, it, although the tool may look the same, uh, the caliber is different. The caliber of how it's put together. These are very, very well crafted parts. Um, the quick connects fit together very smoothly and disconnect very smoothly. 
Definitely like that. But what is the purpose of this kit? So the purpose of this kit is for pressure testing as well as vacuuming down systems, cooling systems in automobiles for the purpose of checking for leaks and then filling the, the cooling system afterwards. The really nice thing about vacuum filling is that you don't have to go through a burping procedure afterwards. When the system has been drained and then you apply a vacuum to the system, you remove any air from the system and then you can fill it via the same device and there will be no air in the system. It's a very quick way of uh, you know doing a repair and filling the system and making sure that it's purged of all air. And you can do it in a timely fashion and that's how we make money as technicians. Do things efficiently and quickly. So uh, what do we have here? We have a plethora of different adapters. This would be your classic adapter. So uh, my Jeep Cherokee, for example, would take this. We've got a couple of Asian adapters. These would be for, uh, I think this is the Honda adapter and the Subaru adapter. Might have them the other way around. They all, they look so similar. Yeah, they all look the same. That's what I keep hearing. But uh, then if you don't have an adapter in this kit that will fit, you can use the cone adapter. Now, the cone adapter will work for vacuuming the system down. I can't see this working very good when you apply pressure to it. Um, yeah, and I just want to pop out. Now, what I what I kept getting, I kept hearing from people is, well, you should get the snap-on system because they have the 70 some odd adapters that you can purchase if you need them from snap-on. And yes, yes they do. And, and it works in a different style. These are, uh, clip style adapters where they have a quick quick disconnect that snaps on and that's how you how you go about it but so the best the best part about this is it comes with the regular regular adapter and this is what the snap-on tool adapters all fit to so if there's nothing if there's something in this this case that or if there's something that you need that's not in this kit you can adapt it via this. So if this kit works out, this is my go-to for buying those specialty adapters, which to be honest, you don't run into that often, but I may, I may, it, it just might happen. So moving on, the kit comes with its pressure tester and every technician ought to have one of these this is a cooling system pressure tester and what it the way it works is you hook up to the rad cap or the reservoir cap and plug this in and then you can pressurize the system what that other youtuber that was comparing this kit to the other kit had pointed out was the caliber of this unit itself. Um, it's nice, it does have a release, so you don't have to just like unhook it and spill coolant everywhere. It will release from here. It may spill coolant out of this valve, but you can do it in a bit more of a controlled fashion. Um, what, what he pointed out was that, and, and he actually disassembled this whole thing, showed the valving inside. Oh, why don't I just go do that anyhow? You pull this back off and you can get at, whoa, there are your O-rings. And wow, they're, they're actually nice and lubricated right from the factory. And the fit is tight. It fits very well into there. So it takes minimal effort to actually get some pressure going. Um, what the other guy found with the other the knockoff kit was you actually had to give it some good goes before it actually started building pressure. This one, just the slightest touch and it's building pressure. It doesn't take a lot to get you there. Another thing about this kit is not just the fact that it can test pressure, but that it can 
vacuum the system down via this unit here. And one thing that I like about this over the snap-on um, cooling system vacuum, I think they call it a, uh, an airlift, where they you, you pull all the air out and you vacuum the system down. Uh, what I didn't like about the snap-on one, and we have one in our shop uh, where I work, and the problem with it is it snaps onto the onto the radiator cap, and then you plug in the airline. You got to really press to get that airline on. I'm sure you could do it before, but but then you're wrestling with the airline because then it's all in your way, and you really you end up having to twist it around like two three times before you get it in the right configuration to get it nice. So you end up pushing on this thing, and you have to put a lot of pressure. Uh, to get it on and you're pushing against the, the plastic rad cap or or the rad neck or or the the plastic bottle and it always makes me nervous I always feel so nervous so it's nice to have something that you can just chain up out of the way and hook it to the hood and pop in your airline and this uh, the valving here this is for your venturi system that will Basically, the way it works is there's a venturi here, and because of the the pressure differential inside the venturi, I mean, I, I could get really into how a venturi works, but I, I'm sure a lot of you understand it. If you don't, it's a quick Google search away. A venturi works on a pressure differential sys setup uh, via orifices, and you're, you're you're rushing air past here. It creates a pressure differential that actually creates a draw. It works in the same principle as air in a hot tub. When you open up that valve and the, the air gets sucked in, there's no air pump. It's just a venturi that's sucking it in. So it works in the same principle. You turn that on, you open this valve, and it will draw the air out of the cooling system. And it, it will actually do a, a really good job of it. Um, it pulls all the air out of the cooling system. And once the air is removed, then you can hook up the other line that we have up here in a handy little location that has a screen. Uh, so you can put it into a, a jug of coolant or a big bucket of coolant. Hook it up here by this this quick disconnect and open this valve and now it's pulling the coolant up and into the system. Really, really cool idea. It, they're not the first to do it. Um, I like the way their setup works. There is a Mighty Vac version of it. Uh, I went against the Mighty Vac version because they had less adapters actually. But the same argument still applies. They do have the standard adapter, so if you do need the other adapters and you have the Mighty Vac kit, uh, you can use the uh, the Snap-on 70 some odd adapters that they have available on the market today, and you can use those up. Um, another thing for this, oh yeah, it also has a vinyl tube for the outlet side for the air, because as you're as you're pulling the air out of the system, you will get little bits of coolant spurring out and it's nice to put that in a jug where it's not just gonna atomize, become airborne. And then you're breathing in coolant, atomized cuts, not, yeah, smells nice, does, not good for you. But, so let's, let's just, let's organize this here, let's get this all back into place. I am stewing over the idea of keeping this in its blow mold case or refashioning how this is all in here. Now the, the pressure tester is one of those units that I'm probably gonna use uh, like on the regular. This is, it's not an uncommon thing and it's really, uh, it's daunting to bust out a huge big kit for something that you're just gonna, oh, I need to just grab that thing and go. So ha a big portion of this kit might just end up in a drawer We'll see how it goes. It's you don't know until you're in the position. Um, these vinyl tubes, yes, uh, same same sort of idea. The other the other thing that I like about this kit is uh, the snap-on version. The vinyl tubes are attached to it, and they got this little tiny case, and it's a bugger to put back in the case. 
Um, whereas these ones, they clip on and off. So you do do what you want with these. Um, again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this blow mold case. These guys here are for testing rad caps. Uh, not done enough. Test rad caps, they fail. They're often the, the, the point of failure in a cooling system and they get underdiagnosed. Check out rad caps. Unfortunately, you can't, you can only test out the old, old style rad caps, right? Um, it, it's, it's a lot harder with these. Um, but yes, definitely when you're diagnosing cooling systems, rad caps, keep those in mind. Underdiagnosed. So, what else? What else is with this kit? If, um, if you need, they have instructions right here for which bits and they have what is that oh it's just an advert an advert for more stuff so it tells you what's in the kit what the part numbers are and there's a, a quick lay down on on which ones you use for what No, not really. Just just a quick rundown on, on how it is that you use this thing. If you don't know how this is, this is used, you're probably not gonna be in the market for purchasing one. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave that at that. And that's probably, <laughs> that's not going back in the kit. So again, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this blow mode case. It is quite large and well, where do you put it? <laughs> where on earth? My toolbox is not that big. I don't. I don't have a drawer currently that any of this stuff will fit in. Oh, another little feature that is fantastic with this: these guys, you tighten them on, and then as you're using them, uh, things warm up and they end up really tight. So they included a little spanner wrench that you can uh, get some more leverage without having to use a, chair, a pair of channel locks or something that's gonna mar the edges of this. Hey, that sucks when you have to do that. So nice, nice little, nice little thought to putting the tool together. Um, yes, uh, they also have, uh, you know, your, your meat thermometer. Every most guys have a digital thermometer these days. So they just have in a drawer in their pocket, so that's probably not going to get put to use. I'll probably use that for um, the roast that I'm going to be doing this weekend. That'll work out. So this has been my unboxing of the seventy-eight fifty-eight five. Astro Pneumatics Cooling System Pressure Testing and Vacuum Kit. It, um, well, again, I bought this with the anticipation of it being a good unit. I don't know if I'm gonna use this massive case. We'll see how that goes. I'm definitely gonna do a follow-up on this one in particular, uh, probably in a year or so. I know I do a lot with cooling systems, so I will put this to good use and we'll put up a video telling you how it's worked out. What, if, if, if any problems have come up with it, uh, we'll address that then. So anyway guys, if you guys like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button. If you're feeling generous, hit that like button. And if you wanna be a part of the conversation, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next one.